Everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. The code requires you to drive a ground rod at pools, and the answer is going to be found in 680.26 Part B, and always work with your local electrical inspector, but the code says the 8 AWG or larger solid copper bonding conductor that's provided for reducing voltage gradients, which is our equipotential bond, in the pool area shall not be required to extend or attach to remote panel boards, service equipment, or electrodes. So we do not want this number eight copper going back to remote panels, uh, the service panel, or to grounding electrodes. Now, we're not going to get too far into the science today of why. I'm getting ready to drop another video, which I've recently dropped a video on Pool Bonding 101. If you'll just YouTube Pool Bonding 101, it'll come up. And we, we're going to touch a little bit more on this when I'm, I'm getting ready to drop kind of a fresher copy of that video with some updated information. So be looking out for it. But we do not want to drive ground rods at pools and then create a, situ a different situation when we're trying to eliminate all voltage gradients. We are trying to um, create an equipotential bond and make sure that everything's at the same potential and we don't want to create any paths for lightning or uh, for current to flow in the event of the neutral utility being disconnected. All right, so I hope this answered you guys' question today. You definitely do not want to drive ground rods at your pools. And if you have any questions, you guys can put them down in the comments below. You guys have a great day. Let's get to it.